Justin Gaethje has spoken up as it has to do with Islam versus Charles Oliveira. And Justin's quote, okay, I want to give you the quote exactly. He said, I am 100% confident that Islam will not dominate Oliveira. Interesting. Nothing affects me more, personally, on an opinion than when fighters within the division Fighters that I know are studying these guys, are watching these guys, are planning that perhaps I'm going to cross paths with these guys. They're thinking 24 7. It never, you can't turn it off. Fighters can't even fall asleep at night. I mean, they're, they're, it's running through their mind. Different positions, different scenarios. Who walks first? Who walks second? Where am I going to fight this guy? What's the location? What am I going to do if it's in Abu Dhabi? What do I eat over there? I mean, it's, it's one of these things that it becomes an absolute lifestyle. So when guys within the division weigh in on an upcoming fight, it's interesting to me. And then I'll have to do the same game. I'll have to run it back. What is the person, the author of the statement, in this case, Justin Gaethje, what is his relationship with the person he's picking? And a lot of times you can find it and we'll discredit it. You find out they're teammates. You find out they went to school together. You find out that the, the guy that he's picking is married to his sister. I mean, right, you, you find out these strange things. And of course, it discredits it. But let's take a look at this from Gaethje's standpoint. Gaethje and Islam are buddies. They're both part of the dominance family, just by example. They're both repped by Ali, just by example. I would not be surprised if we found out that while on the road and while traveling, that Gaethje and Islam have been workout partners for each other several times. I've actually never heard that. I'm throwing that in. But I wouldn't be surprised to find out that that's true. They could trust each other. They could count on each other. Ali could set the workouts. I mean, I, I could trust that that would happen. And then we know that Gaethje is a former opponent of Oliveira. Gaethje did not predict Oliveira, he did not predict Islam. I want to give you his quote one more time. I am 100% sure that Islam will not dominate Oliveira. Hmm. Hmm. Because if Islam can't dominate him, Islam's not going to beat him, in my analysis. I did not want to see this fight. I didn't know how good Oliveira was until Oliveira got out of the ring with Gaethje. As soon as Oliveira and Gaethje was done, all of a sudden, I do want to see this fight. But three days before that, three weeks before that, and three months before that, as there was talk, I didn't want to see it. I felt like I knew it was going to happen. Whether I ended up being right or not, I'm telling you, as far as my anticipation before the fight, I didn't want to see it. I was confident Islam would take him down and keep him there for 25 minutes. And I'm still confident that if Islam is going to win this fight, he had better be able to take down Oliveira whenever he wants to and keep him there and be ready to do that for 25 minutes. I'm confident in that, but that would be a domination. It doesn't matter if it's a snooze fest when they hit the ground. If you're not into ground fighting, you got to see these two guys stand up. I mean, if you're one of these guys, either way, that's going to be a domination. Nobody has ever gone through anybody, put them on the ground the whole time and not dominated them. And Justin says that's not going to happen. So what is Justin saying? Is he saying that Islam doesn't have the ability to take Oliveira down whenever he wants? And you got to have a, a, a gap between your ability to wrestle and the other person's ability to take them down whenever you want. There's not very many guys that had that. St. Pierre had that. Khabib had that. There's not very many guys they can go take someone down, get back up, rest and repeat, go to the corner, come out, do it again, and do it all night long. You don't see it very often. You used to see it. You saw it all through the 90s. You don't see that anymore. And Gaethje isn't saying that Islam is going to win. He's not saying Islam's going to lose. He says Islam's not going to dominate. To me, that means Islam is not going to take Oliveira down whenever he wants. That's what I'm hearing. Are you guys hearing something different? Do your minds go somewhere different? It's open for interpretation, but I will stand behind the idea. I don't know that Islam can't strike, by the way. I know that that's a belief. I know that that's out there, but the great ones can go to plan A and keep on doing it. They don't ever have to go to plan B. I can bring, again, I can bring George back to this conversation with St. Pierre. He's taking everybody down. He was dominating him on the ground, so it was believed he couldn't stand up. Then he ends up in there with somebody who was very good at wrestling named Matt Hughes, so George just knocked him out with a head kick that we didn't know he had. 
I'm not at all on board and ready to say that Islam doesn't possess a skill that we haven't seen. Javier Mendez has always been very open with us, the audience. Javier Mendez owns an academy called the American Kickboxing Academy. He knows stand-up fighting. Been working with Islam for years. He's vouching and saying he can do it whether we've seen it or not. And that does make things more interesting. We tend to always defer back to the 90s. We tend to defer back to striker versus grappler. I find it very boring. I try to not do it myself, and I find the person that I hear doing it lazy when they say, well, if he can keep it standing up, or if he can get it to the ground. I hear that a lot, because since the turn of the century, that hasn't been true. But there are a couple of guys. Of course, there are exceptions that have come along. Khabib would, we, would be one. Islam, up until this point, would be one. But if we were to have a back and forth conversation, what's going to happen if these two have no takedown and they just trade? I understand popular opinion is going to give that to Charles Oliveira, but popular opinion is also based on the idea that we haven't seen Islam do it and therefore we conclude he can't do it. Which is the same thing they said about St. Pierre, and I could give you plenty of other examples. But for me, if I'm hearing this right, Islam won't dominate Oliveira. means Islam is not going to take Oliveira down whenever he wants, which means he's going to fight Oliveira on his feet. That just got a lot more interesting. I appreciate that Justin weighed in. I wish he would have been a little more wordy. I wish he would have explained this just a little bit more. I think I have his message. And Islam with how to take down versus Oliveira, no matter how many minutes or how many rounds that turns into, that turns into a very fascinating proposition. 